Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 14 part vi video series showing you how to create a bank. Let's get started. So to start off, let's open a new architecture template. So here, click on new, go to drop down and click on architecture template and then press OK. Once we, it opens, we start off at level one. So here under architecture, on the right side, we have grid line. If we type in GR or click this button, we'll be able to add grid lines. So we are gonna start off by adding a vertical grid line. So what, I'm, what we have here is elevation tags. And most of the time you put the grid line in the middle of this so you roughly estimate everything so if you have you need more room you can just move this along so right now i'm gonna click on below and going up it created number one grid line as you can see i'm gonna press escape and then escape again so i'm gonna select this again and then here it's going to open up in modify tabs. Uh, you could uh, type in CO or select this icon. So if you type CO, you'll be able to grab this one and move it on the right side. And then if you move it on the right side, we'll be able to type in our um, dimensions. Um, but before you do that, you may want to make sure to check multiple so that we just need to keep on typing. And because we're dictating in Revit that we want it to be on the right side, it will keep on adding grid lines and it will be in sequence. So we start at number one. And then once we type in our dimension, it will create number two. So now I'm going to type in 2550. 3826, 2626, 3877, we have 60.26, 2231-2445-3873. 2385 and then lastly we have 2322 so as you can see we, we started at number one and we created up to number 12 and as you can see we need to move this dimension so I'm gonna move it right now for this dimension because it's easy, easy to move as you can see. You just need to select all of them and then grab it and you'll be able to move it along. As well as this one, I'm gonna hold on control so that I could select both of them and then we could just move in the middle. So at least we're in the midpoint and we have some room to add in dimension. So again, press escape and then escape again. We're going to add grid, grid line for horizontal, so GR. I'm going to select it from right side to left side. And as you can see, press escape. It created 13, which is the sequence of 12, the last one that we did for the vertical. But here, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to capital A. So as you can see, we have capital A right there. And Revit will notice that as well. And it will um, add B once we create or copy this one. So press escape and then escape again. Select this again and then type in CO. Pull it down. So from top to bottom now. 
and then we're going to add in the dimension 2353 enter 4768 enter 2400 enter this is 42201877 and then 2335 press escape and then escape again so the, those are our grid lines created and as you can see, what we can do is I want to move this one down and then extend this. So I'm just going to highlight everything, move this one a little bit like that because this one is too much. So I'm going to pull it up. And once you see this, you just need to select one of the grid lines. And then this dash line indicates that if you move this, everything will move on all of this so as you can see it's easy to move all of those grid lines and then here at the top so I'm gonna press escape multiple times zoom in and then I'm gonna pull this one up the reason for that is I want to add dimensions so here click on dimension right here you can type in di and then add dimension on all grid lines first so it's like continuous in AutoCAD so you'll be able to add this one as well and then you put overall after that you do it right here as well and by the way the units that we're using here is millimeters and then you create an overall press escape and then escape again it's um, you type in un and then the mil millimeters is the template that we use for this so it's metric and then before we uh, forget is we need to save this so click on save and save it to the uh, folder that you want to so I'm here at the location that I want to. I'm just going to put it as bank. And then here, before you click on save, you click on the option. And the default one is 20 maximum backups. You'll be able to change this if you want to. But for me, I want it to be at least 5. Depending on your level of Revit. So if you're a beginner, you can put it at 10 or 20 the reason for that is it will keep on um, saving up to five if you have five here and then it will uh, overwrite the the last save file that you have right here and it's good to have backups because you basically create mistakes and in order for you to go back to the mistake to undo it you'll be able to um, just select and open the, the the last save file that you have. So after putting the maximum backup that you want, you can even put one if you want to. Uh, you can just click OK and then save right here. Also, if you notice, um, we don't have grid bubbles on this side and this side. So in order for you to add those, you will need to individually select all of those grid lines and then check this show bubble. As you can see, it will show the grid bubbles, but the only um, issue with this is you just need to do it manually on all of them. I haven't got any um, solution to do it fast but if if you think about it it's just very simple anyway 
although it's repetitive it's something easy to do you don't need to do it fast enough you can just take your time um, although if you notice right here at number nine and number ten grid line it's overlapping i don't want to do that so in order for everything to be shown properly if you click on number 10 grid line it will have this zigzag meaning you'll be able to split this to add an elbow meaning that it's not going to be splitting but you'll be able to create an angle so that you'll be able to see it properly so if you click this it will say add elbow select that and then the elbow will be created and you'll be able to drag those ones in order for you to see it better so now i'm gonna do that there and i'm gonna do it below right here and as you can see it will even align to the way that you put the one at the top so that's very easy to do and just a quick refresh um, this is the dimension that I did for the vertical and then this is the horizontal so that you'll be able to uh, catch up. So now after this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our south elevation in order for us to create our elevation and to fix our levels. Here, as you can see, um, this is our vertical grid lines and as you can see our level is not past that so it's very easy to fix you just need to select one and then as you can see it will move similar to the grid lines that we have and you'll be able to fix all of them it is pet it is a must that you basically uh, intersect on all of them and especially for our vertical grid line it needs to over it needs to um, intersect or else it will not show so just for an example if you select level 2 all grid lines is showing but in case that you don't fix this what will happen is the vertical grid line is not showing right here because that's the reason for that it's not intersecting in your uh, elevations. So here I'm just pulling it up because we're going to add a, another level, which is level three. So there's some couple of ways to add levels. You can go to architecture and then right here we have our level. You can type in LL as well. Um, some people does this so you need to select level 2 create a copy and then grab it again make sure multiple is checked if you're adding multiple um, levels and then you can type in 4000 and right here you created level but as you can see in your floor plan it's not automatically added for the level three so the the way you're you need to do it is you need to go to view and then click on plan view drop down and then select floor plan and then select level three or how many you have you need to select all of them you you will need to select the top and then shift and then select the bottom if you have a lot of levels and then you just need to highlight all of them and then press OK. Then it will create that level right there. And as you can see here, it's not showing. We need to double check other elevation again if it's not showing. So here it's not showing because this um, vertical grid line or horizontal grid line is not intersecting. So that's why when we saw it right here, it's not showing. So now that's a lot of step of doing. So if we undo this, another step of adding levels is by simply going to architecture 
and then selecting your level or you can type in ll and then right now i'll be able to add level but if you notice it's really hard to have it correctly at 4000 instantly so you will need to navigate here and it will take time but the easiest thing is once you add the level on this way it will instantly add level 3 right here so those are the pros and cons and different ways of adding levels so what i prefer is doing the copy command because i could just instantly add this especially if you're doing multiple stories multiple levels that copy command is the best thing that you can do because if you're adding multiple levels and then if you're using level like so you will need to like keep on adding it and then if it's not in the correct height you will need to change this and then change the height again so it's just too uh too much work so that's why i'm doing the copy command on level so that i could just instantly do and then i could just type in the height that i want to and it's easier for me so that's my opinion but you can do whatever you want um the for me i like doing levels when it's just one or two levels that i'm creating because i just don't want to go here again and then add in it's just easier to just to add one or two like this way so now now that we have this we need to double check on all of our elevation so like so we need to pull this one up so that everything will intersect go to your north make sure everything is intersecting and everything has spacing and this one we have enough room to add dimension if you want to so now let's go back on north and south and let's fix this similar to the grid line this grid line right here you can add elbows as well so right now it's easier it goes to the correct um, side and we don't need to grab it and then adjust it anymore so now i'm happy with our elevation i'm just going to un to hide ceiling plan we don't need to use that and then let's go back to level one i know i'm not going to use this all again so i'm just going to close inactive views so that it doesn't bother me and then we're going to start at level one anyway click on save so that everything is saved properly so we're gonna stop here for now and continue in the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below